Now that you got your materials made, I'll show you how you can use Quixel Bridge to export your materials to any program such as Blender, 3ds Max, Maya, Unreal Engine, or Unity. I showed you in the first video how you can use the export tab to export your textures, which you'd have to manually set up in whatever program you use. But this way it'll be a little bit easier. So you gotta go to File, and then you got to go to Export to Library, and you can choose what parts you want to export, the mellowness, I mean, occlusion, specular, roughness, gloss. And then you can choose a name, choose a category or make your own category, choose your resolution, and then add some tags and hit export. So when you open up Bridge for the first time, you'll have a little option for what program you want to export to. It'll look like the settings here. You can use Blender, Unreal, whatever. Now you'll find your material under Local, Mixer, and we have it here. You also have lots of options for other ones in these other places, so you can go ahead and explore, but we'll use local mixer. Then you can click on this, and then we have the export button down here and some global export settings. But before you can do that, you'll have to set up your export. So you'll have export to and then your program that you chose. You can change the program here, and you're going to see script, and this is where your plugin is. So. If you use one that you haven't set up yet, it's going to say download plugin. And then you can go and click that button and then it'll give you this where it installed the plugin. And you can choose copy. And then you can go into your program such as Blender, do edit, preferences, and then go to add-ons, install. And then you can go and paste in that location and then choose, click on that and install add-on. And then you should have it enabled right here, import export Megascans plugin. So now that you have the plugin, you can go to file, import Megascans plugin. And then this will turn on your importing of Megascans. So you can go and hit export and I'll say exporting and successful hopefully. And then you can go back into Blender or whatever program, and then choose your material. And then you can go to rendered or material preview and you should see your material on your model. Now, if you want to add another material in, you wouldn't have to go to File, Import, unless you close Blender. Next, I'll also show you how to do in Unreal. So in Unreal, you'll have to select the engine version. And then you'll have an installation folder, which is going to be your folder that Unreal keeps all of its plugins. This will be what it is by default. I'll show you that closer on the screen. And then you can choose a project location, but this is optional. If you leave it blank, it will just go ahead and automatically choose whatever project you have open in Unreal right now. And if you select it, you can actually go to the content folder, then go to a subfolder of that so that it goes into that folder instead of directly in the content. So you got your settings again, global export settings, such as the resolution and format. And then you have advanced settings. So you can choose the naming format, and then you can choose if you want to have your channels packed, and that'll pack your textures into multiple channels to save texture memory. And then you can just hit export. And then you can go into Unreal. Then I'll say project is up to, uh, date, update. Okay, okay. And then you'll have your material here. And then you can look at the preview. It's using a material instance. So you'll see the parent is under this MS presets folder. And then your surface is under the Megascans surfaces folder. Now in Unreal, you can just delete the diffuse since it doesn't need both the diffuse and the albedo. And then you can just hit Control Shift S to save all. And then we can slap that material on something. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see more videos on 3D modeling and texturing. Thank you.